Many people are still waiting for the third and last portion of the Fatima mysteries to be revealed since they are the most predictive of all time. Many people believe that the Church has kept the third secret a secret. The three dark days will have a significant effect. If a miracle happens, perhaps the Catholic Church will then release the remaining information. The Church has given permission to reveal to the people the last part of the message. The Blessed Virgin appeared to three children in Fatima, Portugal, in 1917, this is a proven fact, one of these children is still alive, her name is Lucia, she is a cloister nun and lives in a European monastery. Today, let us share with you some words from the third secret of Fatima, which is shared with us by Sister Lucia who was also known by the name Lucia of Fatima. Before we proceed to the core of the message, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and praise be to God. Here comes the words from Sister Lucia. My child, go tell the world what will happen in the 21st century. The Father's commandments are not being followed by men. Evil rules the earth and sows bitterness and hatred everywhere. Mankind will create dreadful weapons that can wipe out the whole human race in a matter of minutes, start a war against Rome, and cause disputes amongst religious groups. God will permit all natural calamities to slowly ravage the world, including hail, cold, water, fire, floods, earthquakes, winds, and severe weather. All of these events will occur before the second coming of Christ. Your darling mother will tell you that now is the moment for those who refuse to understand that people who lack charity toward others and those who do not love their neighbors as my dear son has loved you all will not survive. There is no doubt that they will arrive in the millions and will wish they had perished. Those who do not believe in our Lord God, do not obey Him, and do not make time for Him will receive a harsh punishment. God saves the world but those who do not uphold loyalty and integrity will all be annihilated, I command you all to come to my Son Jesus Christ. I am very sad because nobody is interested in my precious prophecies, how the righteous are walking through a narrow path, the evil ones are walking through an ample road that is leading them straight to their destruction, believe me people, the punishment will come very soon. Many countries and lost souls will vanish from the face of the world. But, in the midst of all of these, men can still save the world if they think, pray, and do good things. If people continue to act evilly in one of these ways, the world will be lost forever. The assassination of a man in a highly significant position will ignite an argument. The nuclear war will start after a strong army takes control of all of Europe. The one-third of mankind that survives this obscurity and sacrifice will start a new period, and they will be decent people. This conflict will obliterate everything, cover us in darkness for 72 hours, 3 days, and bring about the end of the world as we know it. A powerful earthquake will jolt the earth for eight hours on a very chilly night at ten minutes before midnight. This will be the third indication that God rules the world. Those who uphold the good way and spread the message of the Lady of Fatima shouldn't be terrified. Bow your heads, kneel down and ask God for forgiveness. Because only what is good and is not under the power of evil will survive the catastrophe. In order for you to prepare and remain alive I will give you the following signs. Anguish, and in a short period the earthquake will commence, the earth will shake. The shake will be so violent that it will move the earth 23 degrees and it will return it to its normal position. Then, total and absolute darkness will cover the entire planet, 
all evil spirits will be mingling around and free, doing harm to all those souls that did not want to listen to this message and those who did not want to repent. To the faithful souls, remember to light the blessed candles, prepare a sacred altar with a crucifix in order to communicate with God and implore for His infinite mercy, all will be dark, in the sky a great mystic cross will appear to remind us the price that His beloved Son had to pay for our redemption. In the house the only thing that can give light will be the holy candles, once light nothing will put them off until the three days of darkness are over. Also, you should have holy water that should be sprinkled abundantly on windows and doors. The Lord will protect the property of the chosen ones. Kneel down before the powerful cross of my beloved Son, pray the rosary and after each Hail Mary you must pray the following. O God forgive us our sins, preserve us from the fire of hell, take all souls to heaven, especially those who are in more need of their mercy. Blessed Virgin Mary protects us, we love you, save us and save the world. Pray five creeds and the rosary which is the secret to my immaculate heart. All those who believe in my words go and take the message to everyone, do not fear. Fear nothing during the Lord's great day. Talk to all the souls now that there is time, those who keep quiet will be responsible for all those souls who will perish in ignorance. All those who pray humbly to the Rosary will have the protection of heaven and those who are bound to die I will help them die in peace and they will be holy when they enter the other world. I wish all my children to attend Mass every first Friday and every first Saturday of each month, to confess and receive Holy Communion and in doing so, save the world from its total destruction. When the earth shakes no more, those who still do not believe in our Lord will perish in a horrible way. The wind will bring gas and it will disperse it everywhere, then the sun will rise. Maybe you will survive this catastrophe. Do not forget that God's punishment is holy and once it has started you should not look outside. Under no circumstance, God does not want any of His children to see when He punishes the sinners. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, and may God continue to shower us with His favors and blessings. To finish this video, we recite a short prayer of consecration of families and households to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate myself to Thee, and I consecrate my family, my home and everything in it, to Thy Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee our physical, psychic, biological and spiritual being, and all that we are, have and do. Protect us, dear Mother with Thy light's rays that pour out from Thy Immaculate Heart and hide us in Thy lap. Do not allow, sweet Mother, none of the inhabitants of this home be lost, give us Thy peace and strength in difficult times of our test. May our faith in God and trust in Thee, O sweet Mother, be the passport to arrive us safe to the gates of new creation. Amen.